Okay, welcome back. I'm now answering question um, 12, part C, from this February-March 2022 paper from the Cambridge um, paper for extended 0580 syllabus. And here we are told about this curve, which has equation y equals x cubed plus ax plus b. And the stationary points of the curve have coordinates 2k and minus 2, 10 minus k. So work out the value of A and the value of B and the value of K. So the stationary points of a curve are the points of zero gradient. Now we know this is a cubic curve, which has a positive X cubed um, co coefficient. So it's going to look something like this. So there's going to be a stationary point here and over here. This is where X will be 2. This will be X will be negative 2. Okay, so this will be the first stationary point. This will be the second one because that's how a cubic curve with a positive X cubed looks. It has this kind of shape um, if it has two stationary points. So now... Um, we know that at the stationary point, dy dx equals 0. So the first step is for us to find what dy dx is. So dy dx, you have to differentiate this expression. So to differentiate an expression, you multiply by the power, and you take one from the power. If you have an x term, the power is 1, actually. So you can just think of it as the x term. with It's just got an x to the power of 1, basically. So that becomes a. You just drop the x term because... You'll have 1 times a, which is a, times x to the power of 0, which gives you 1. So you're left with a times 1, which is a. And any constant term when you differentiate becomes 0. So you're left with dy dx equals 3x squared plus a. Now I know when I've got the point 2k, all right, that this dy dx is equal to 0. When x equals 2, dy dx is equal to 0. So when x equals 2, I know dy dx is equal to 0. So therefore, I can say that 3 times 2 squared plus a equals 0, which means that's 3 times 4, which is 12, plus a equals 0. So a is equal to negative 12. So we found the value of a. All right. Now, to find the value, I would have got the same thing if I use this, of course. If I use this, this is also where the gradient is equal to 0. And that will also give you a equals negative 12, because when I put minus 2 in here, I'm going to have... Minus 2 squared, which is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. I get the same thing. All right, so that's the value of a. So, so far in my equation, I have now deduced is y equals x cubed minus 12x plus b. Because a equals negative 12. So, you can replace the a with negative 12. Now, I need to find the values of um, b and k now. All right. Now, what I can do is I can use the fact that 2k and also minus 2 and what was the other point? 10 minus k, they both are points on this curve because they are stationary points on this curve. So that means they are lie on this curve. They both lie on this curve. They both are on the curve, these two points. So that means that the x and y values of these two coordinates satisfy the equation of this curve. So if I put x as 2 in here, um, then y is going to come out as k. And if I put x as minus 2 in here, then y is going to end up as 10 minus k, because these points satisfy the equation. So I can say when x equals 2, y is going to equal k. So if I take this and I'll say, all right, replace the y with k, and then the x is going to be 2, so we have 2 cubed, minus 12 times 2 plus b okay so that's going to give me k equals 8 minus 24 plus b so k is going to equal you have 8 minus 24 which is negative 16 plus b so that's like one equation i formed and i can form another equation in a similar way by using this point which is minus 2 and 10 minus k that means when x equals negative 2 y equals 10 minus k. So I can use those values. Let me just put it a bit lower so that I've got space. So I can say that in the same equation, when y equals 10 minus k, so I have 10 minus k, 10 minus k equals, instead of x, now I'll put minus 2, that's going to be minus 2 cubed, minus 12 times minus 2. You've got to be very careful with the signs here plus b. So I have 10 minus k equals negative 8 plus 24, because you've got minus and minus is plus, plus b. So 10 minus k is equal to 24 minus 8, which is 16 plus b. My, that's my second equation. Now I have a pair of simultaneous equations. I can even make this a bit simpler. Let me just 
Um, I take away 10 from both sides, right? Because I want to get rid of this 10. So this will be 16 minus 10, which is 6 plus b. So I'll call this equation 2. It's a bit simpler. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll call this equation 2. So now I have these two equations. I have k equals minus 16 plus b and negative k equals 6 um, plus b. If I add these two equations together, if I add them together, all right, I'll end up with 0 equals minus 16 plus 6 is negative 10 plus 2b. So I have 10 equals 2b, therefore b is equal to 5. And if I know b equals 5, I can find k. I can say, therefore, k is equal to minus 16 plus b. So k is equal to negative 16 plus 5. So k is equal to negative 11. So we have the values of a, which is negative 12. Let me move this up a bit out of the way. And b, which we found is 5. And k, which is negative 11. And there's the answer to part um, C. Now, in this particular question, if you wanted to check, I mean, if you did, if you had time at the end of the paper, and you wanted to check that you're correct, you could check that you're correct, because you could write down the equation. And this is what you do, for example, for this paper, if the mark scheme hasn't been released yet, and you want to check that your answer is correct, this is how you do so. You have x cubed um, plus ax, so it's plus ax and plus b. That was the equation, and um, the points were 2k and minus 2, 10 minus k. So the points were 2k, the stationary points 2k, and minus 2 and 10 minus k. So if we substitute the values that we found, hopefully that would give us um, you know, something which we can see that is correct. So these would be the stationary points, 2 and minus 11, and minus 2, and you have 10 minus minus 11, which is going to be 21. That will be 10 plus 11, right? Okay, so these should be the stationary points of this curve. So let's see if that actually works out. So you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this as a check um, as a mark scheme hasn't been released yet. So just making sure that the answer is correct. Okay, so what we can say is dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 12. Okay, that's if you differentiate it. And if uh, 2 minus 11 is a stationary point, then this will cause, the, when I put x equals 2, dy dx should equal 0. So when x equals 2, dy dx is equal to 3 times 4 minus 12, which is 0, so that's correct. And when x equals minus 2, it should get the same thing. dy dx equals 3 times minus 2 squared, which is 4 minus 12, which is also 0, so that's correct. So that's fine. And also, this point should satisfy this equation. Okay, so when I put x equals 2, y should come out as negative 11. So we have 2, time, 2 cubed minus 12 times 2 plus 5. That gives me 8 minus 24 plus 5. Now 8 minus 24 is minus 16. Minus 16 plus 5 is negative 11, which is correct. And when x equals negative 2, y is going to be negative 2 cubed minus 12 times negative 2 plus 5. So that's going to give me minus 8 plus 24 plus 5. 24 minus 8 is 16. 16 plus 5 is equal to 21, which is also correct. So we can be sure that we have done the right thing and we haven't made a silly mistake somewhere. So that's what you would do if you had time in an exam to make sure that your answer is correct. Okay, I'm doing this now, right now, because the mark scheme has not been released. So I'm. that's why I'm just making sure by checking in this way that my answers are correct. So there's the answer to question C of question, part C of question 12 from the February, March 2022 IGCSE Cambridge paper 40580 syllabus. Other questions from this paper will be collected in the playlist over here. Other questions which are related to differentiation in the playlist over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link Thank you for watching and see you soon.